What's happening, podcasters? My name is Sebastian Rusk, and I help marketers and entrepreneurs just like you launch successful podcasts. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it takes to get your podcast uploaded to Google Podcast. Now, it's not just about iTunes these days. There's other podcasting platforms out there. As you can see, Spotify and Pandora and iHeartRadio have quickly followed suit to make sure that they can make podcasts available on their platform. But let's not forget the original second in line of launching podcasts online, which is Google. Monstrous company, large platform, predominantly catered towards the Android user. And that is really the purpose of making sure your podcast is in the Google Podcast Store. You don't want to miss out on any market share of people being able to consume your product. You don't want to just say, well, my show is just in the iTunes store and leave out a whole other demographic of Android users that want to consume your content. Let's get started. Now we're gonna switch over to screen share real quick because I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of making sure you submit your podcast to Google Podcasts. Now, nobody uploads their podcast to iTunes or to Spotify or to Google Podcast. Everyone submits their podcast through an RSS feed. There's an example of what that looks like. That RSS URL is submitted to Google Play and to iTunes and to Spotify for approval. Once you're approved, then they've got the URL and anytime anything is uploaded to your podcast hosting account, that episode automatically gets sent over to Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, etc., etc. So let's get down to uploading a podcast to Google Podcast. Okay, here's exactly how you get your podcast into the Google Play Podcast Store. I don't know the actual name because it says Google Play Music up here, then it says podcast in Google Play Music. I'm not really a Google device user. I am a Gmail user, and that is the extent of my Google knowledge. However, I do know how to get a podcast in the Google Play Store. Let's just call it the Google Play Store for argument's sake. First of all, you're going to go up to this URL right up here, play.google.com forward slash podcast forward slash publish. Yes, it's a long one. It's Google. What do you expect? Go to that URL. It's going to bring you to this page right here. Now, what you're going to want to do is go over to your podcast host site and log in and you're going to want to identify your RSS feed URL. If you don't know what that is, you need to go to the help section on your podcast host and type in RSS feed and they'll show you exactly where to find yours. Yes, every podcasting hosting account has one. It has to have one if you want to be able to have your podcast live in other places. The podcast RSS feed URL looks something like you see right up here that I've highlighted in my browser. And this feed allows me to submit it to Google Play, to Spotify, to iHeartRadio, and be able to have my show syndicated and distributed to these other platforms. The reason they do that this way is for the simple fact that instead of having to go to all of these platforms and submit your URL every single time of the actual episode or upload an episode, they want to maintain control and just say, hey, give us your RSS feed. Every time you post a new episode on, let's say, SoundCloud or Libsyn, it's going to automatically be syndicated to iTunes and everywhere else that you've submitted your show. So you're going to go to this URL that I talked about a couple minutes ago, click publish, that's after you've gotten your RSS feed, of course. Remember, RSS feed looks just like this. Right up here that I've highlighted right in the browser. So I'll copy that, and then I'll go back to Google Podcasts, click Add a Podcast, and then I'm going to paste my RSS feed link right here, submit it to Google Play Podcast, and then they'll approve it. Once it's approved, every time I upload a brand new episode to my podcast hosting site, which is pippa.io, then Google Podcast, iTunes, everywhere my show is distributed to will show up every time I produce a new episode and upload it to my podcast hosting site only, not to Google. Nobody uploads anything to Google Podcast, iTunes, Spotify, it's by design. We would mess it up. This is way easier to do. So just like you, similar to how you would get your show into iTunes, you would go to the iTunes Podcast Connect Store. Here you're going to the Google Play Podcast Store, submitting your RSS feed. And it takes between two and seven days to get approved. So not long at all. As soon as it's approved, Google will send you a email. You need to be logged in with your Gmail account. Uh, so make sure that you are. I logged into my Gmail account up here that allows me to see all of my podcasts. That's new podcasts. And then if you had several podcasts, I don't know why you would, but we do because we launch podcasts 
four brands is that the only show that I've got in here is mine. All right, friends. Well, listen, I hope you really understand what it takes to upload your podcast to the Google Podcast Store. Again, you're not uploading your show. You're just submitting your show for approval. But I hope you understand exactly what it takes in order to do that based on the steps that I've just gone over with you. Any questions about uploading your podcast to the Google Podcast Store and submitting for approval, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you feel so inclined, like this video, share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. This way you'll get updates on future videos as they become available. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.